You have to think about uh, I mean, you're you're at a big disadvantage if you don't understand what your counterparty's interests are. Gavin says, if you pay cheap, you pay twice. I tend to agree. It's a nice succinct saying. If you're going to be, um, I, I don't want the cheapest thing. I, I want something that's a good value. I want the best value. And the best value might be quite expensive. You know, if you want high quality things, you have to pay for them. Uh, it requires. Uh, I mean, a lot of things that, that people like, or a lot of things that I like, they're either scarce, or you know, they require. They're either scarce, therefore valuable, or they require a high level of craftsmanship, and you know, therefore valuable. Because you know, that in itself is scarce. So there'll be a limited number of very high quality things in the world. So if you want to have the nicest things, um, you know, there's going to be a scarcity, and you're going to pay a premium. And and I don't mind. I don't mind paying a premium for high quality. I like to pay uh, a, a fair value for high quality. I like to pay for high quality things. So um, the uh, the problem is not that the shit, something's too expensive. The problem is you haven't earned enough money yet to have the shit you want. So just go earn enough money to have the shit you want. Just go earn more. I was up, you know, it was 11, 1140 or so last night, PM. I had a couple people working with me at, you know, almost midnight. We were doing construction work almost midnight yet. You know, and I, I took a shower and I went to sleep and, uh, you know, I slept five and a half, six hours and... You know, I got up again. I was, you know, at eight fifteen. I was up and getting stuff done again. So I don't know. I, I didn't think any. I didn't think it's anything special. You know, that just that's what you do if you want to. If you want to have high quality outcomes, you're gonna have. Uh, you're gonna have to do things that other people wouldn't do. So I, I don't think anything of it. And, I mean, a funny note. Um, there's a, a clown dick on uh, my YouTube channel that made a couple comments that. Uh, a video that was released recently. I was talking about my new home gym, or uh, you know, gym in my office, more precisely. And you know, I spent I don't know something like 1.4 million dollars on a gym. But you know, in the video, um, I said you know 1.3, 1.4 million. And the guy's taking issue with that. Is like, well, which is it? Well, you know, at first he's d doubting that that I paid that for you know a world class gym in uh, on a high floor in one of the best buildings in the world. So first he. he does, can't comprehend that, which is amazing to me. And then he said, well, you know, well, which is it? You know, it's 1.3, 1.4, blah, 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 you know, uh, bunny bucks or whatever he calls me. And, um, you know, even several several other clients, a couple other clients are commenting, you know, making fun of the guy. And I made a couple of comments, you know, joking with them, making fun of the guy. And, you know, at some time, uh, it's not good use of our time to continue to, to communicate with this buffoon. But, I mean... A hundred grand. You know, he's basically questioning. He's like, "You're so you're so good with money. You don't know if it was 1.3 or 1.4." I was like, "I don't know. I mean, I made three hundred and ten thousand dollars yesterday in the stock market. The day before that, I was down about forty six thousand, forty eight thousand. I don't remember. I don't know if it was forty six or forty eight. It's two thousand dollars. I don't I don't know if it's forty six or forty eight. But I was down forty six, forty eight thousand yesterday. I was up three hundred and ten. Um, today I'm up a couple hundred, two hundred and something. I think." I don't even know. I mean, look. Um, so I mean, I I don't. I mean, I don't know what a hundred grand, a uh, hundred grand in a, you know, on a, a ten million dollar property. I'm up two forty six, two forty six point one. So I don't know what is a hundred grand on a on a you know ten million dollar property. I'm I'm up about five oh eight or five ten or something for the week. You know, it's Wednesday. I'm up over half a million, and uh, and I'm, I'm out working until midnight. The day before, I was working until about 10.15. Last night, I was working until almost midnight. Uh, tonight, I'll be up late working and stuff. I, you know, I don't think anything about putting in a 14, 15-hour day. Um, I also don't think much about 100 grand because, I'm, you know, I'm 42 years old, and I've been doing that for a quarter century. So, uh, you know, resources are, are not scarce. If I want something, I go buy one. I mean, this is incomprehensible to some people, but you know, I, I have one room, one room in my office where the the floor costs more than a hundred grand, and in the same room, the the decor on the walls cost more than a hundred grand. In the same room, the kitchen appliances and uh, and kitchen cabinets cost more than a hundred grand. I mean, I spent half a million dollars rebottling the one room, maybe more, but something like half a million dollars rebottling the one room. So, not even saying what the room cost, not not that doesn't that's just you know, 
repairing the space and bringing it up to the standard that uh, that I think it should be. So, I don't know. It's it's uh, if you did the right things, kind of what I was saying with Omar. If you did the right things, I mean, Omar, imagine compounding that for a quarter century. Or you, you think you'd have a financial problem that you couldn't just buy, you know if you if you wanted to buy something you think a hundred grand would be a lot of money? It's not. It's not, especially with inflation. It's not. So I don't know. I don't want cheap. I want good value, and I want highest quality at a fair price. I want the highest quality at a fair price. I don't want the cheap price. I want the highest quality at a fair price. It might be a high price depending on the context, but highest quality at a fair price. You might as well burn that into your head while we're thinking about it. It's like, you know, we should do a poll about this. It's like, do you want free or cheap? You're only alive, you know, 20,000 to 28,000 days in your life. Many thousands have already passed if you're here. So, you know, in the say you got 15,000 days left. Do you want you want to spend your the limited little bit of time you got with free or cheap? Or would you just like to have like the highest quality, best of everything? Yeah, a price that's fair considering what it is. That's that's certainly my preference. You have to think that through for yourself, maybe. Uh, Nick. Nick says, Derek, what's up, Derek? Uh, things are getting so incredibly good. Uh, and I also and also my employer can't believe what is happening. My monthly salary at the beginning of this program uh, has been three hundred dollars. This month I made almost ten thousand dollars and broke the company's record for the most money brought in uh, in two months ever done. Looking forward to the future with you. Truly grateful for you and your team's guidance. I'm not, I'm not surprised, Nick. And uh, It's a great example. A guy that's making 300 bucks, you know, clearly clearly not contributing his full potential. Guy's making $300 a month. Right? And then, you know, makes a real effort for a period of time. Now I'm making $10,000. This month, he says, this month I made almost $10,000. So, you know, you, you change that in a couple months' time. In two months' time, you went from $300 a month to last month, he says, $10,000. And, and broke company records for how much money he brought in in a two-month period of time. So, I mean, that's the difference. If, if I tell somebody you could double your income, you know, it's, it's not enough. It's not, it's, it, it doesn't really convey. But, but if I say what you just said, Nick, if I say, hey, if your guy had made $300 fucking dollars, you could make ten thousand dollars instead. It sounds unbelievable to someone. It's you know thirty three times the income. It sounds unbelievable or unrelatable to somebody, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. That's the difference between somebody who's contributing as much as they can contribute. And by the way, you already know you can contribute even more, and probably you're motivated to do so now because you're being well compensated. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Congratulations. Congratulations. And push yourself to do even more. Push yourself to do even more. You got more in it. You got more in you. You got more in you. Push yourself to do even more, man. Um, Ariane says, Derek, I'm starting to make money with freelancing, which I have not done before. I want to go into the market with high daily rate of about 800 to 900 euros a day but have no reference points of actually delivering that value as a freelancer as opposed to in a job slash uh, as entrepreneur. How do you go about setting a daily rate for yourself, especially if you've not done uh, all of the tasks in the freelance project individually before? Uh, bro, I mean, it sounds like you need more experience in my opinion. It sounds like you need more experience. Um, I mean, if I think about a, a daily rate for something, I. I just I, I, there's nothing I should make any plan for if I'm not being compensated ten thousand dollars an hour. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense for me to do anything if I'm not making at least ten thousand dollars an hour. It doesn't make sense. But I also have a lot of experience. I also have a hell of a track record of performing and helping other people get you know accomplish their goals. So you know you, you have to have more of that track record. You can you know you can charge eight nine hundred euros for something. It's a thousand dollars a day. Say I'll translate as you know thousand dollars a day. Somebody will pay you a thousand dollars a day. Um, you know if you are providing them consistent results that are worth more than a thousand dollars to them. So um, I, I don't know what to tell you that you need you need more experience. And you know if you if you're setting a rate at that price and nobody wants to pay you that, well the world's giving you feedback. 
the world's giving you feedback. So, you know, you're going to have to do a little trial and error and feel that out. Um, Clifford says, Derek, uh, thank you for the content this week. You have been tra uh, training active listening and putting myself in other people's shoes uh, two weeks ago, and this has been a great super supplement to my tool set. You have to think about, uh, I mean, you're, you're at a big disadvantage if you don't understand what your counterparty's interests are. You're at a bad, bad disadvantage if you, if you can't comprehend, you know, what does this person want from me? How do you know somebody wants something from you? They're speaking to you. They're communicating with you. All right? So hum, humans, uh, humans just stay in their homeostasis. They don't, they don't do anything unless they want something. All right? So... What are, what are my goals with communicating? I'm speaking to you right now, so what do I want? You know, somebody should ask that question in their head. Maybe you did. Um, yeah, I, I want you guys to win, and I want us to go win more together. Th this, is a, this is a contribution. Um, I don't even want the weakest people here. You know, you know what? The weakest people in the program, they got kicked out at the beginning of the program. They drop out themselves. Or you know, every program, we kick a couple people out because they don't do the fucking work. So by this stage in the program... You got a great self-selected group that are people that are performers. They're thinking well. They're they're experiencing success already. They're going to experience higher and higher gradients of success. So th this is me selfishly investing in a high-quality group of people. That a good number of which we're going to go have a future together. That um, many are in the mastermind group. We're going to go do live events and spend time together and get to know each other. And you know, very organically, you put a bunch of winners together, and we're going to find ways to win even more. And I'll be a beneficiary of that. And I look forward to it. And you know, you know who else will? The biggest contributors here, they're also going to be a beneficiary of that at the highest levels. So I think it's fantastic. I look forward to it. I'm excited about it. And uh, but that's what I that's my entire purpose for being here is like, let's get rid of the few losers. Let's get rid of, you know, twenty percent that aren't gonna, you know, they're not gonna do much. They're not gonna do much. Success is not for everybody, it's probably not for them. You know, let's get let's talk to the other eighty percent here and make some plans together, like, all right, what else can we do? How are we gonna get this money? How are we gonna go and money, money is just a proxy for freedom. How are you going to get more freedom? How are you going to get more freedom in your life? That you can go get a Ron Scrooge McDuck statue or do whatever the fuck else you want to and uh, not put up with the nonsense or hysterias of the world, you know? So if you're someone who is lost, but who's interested in real estate investment, but is scared or doesn't know where to start, what methodology to follow and where to turn to, Derek's program is your solution. You're going to have everything that you need inside the program. Derek's there every week, answers all your questions. Furthermore, the assignments are made very challenging, but you get to learn a lot from doing these assignments, talking with the people inside the group. I highly recommend this for everyone who's interested in real estate investments. Overall, financial wealth and financial success. If you are or are on your way to be a millionaire or multimillionaire, probably gonna to wanna to spend time with my clients. Probably gonna to wanna to have a personal relationship with me so we can accelerate that process, get you living up to your, your maximum potential, earning your maximum wage. You're gonna to wanna to click that follow button. You're gonna to wanna to click that bell and get notifications. Tune in every Friday, tune in every Monday. You're gonna love what you see. I look forward to having you as a client in the future.